Hello everyone. Today we will begin our new project retail billing software. First, I will run this code and show you the results. And then we can move on to the explanation. So here is the output of what we are going to make further in our video. As you can see, we have not used the designs much in this project. So what did I use? The secret is that I have made this UI with Photoshop. Therefore, please allow me to share you the files. As you can see, I have PNGs for all of our buttons as well as a BGPNG for our main background. So let's take a look at the code and see how it works. We will need certain libraries, so let's import them. Import temp files and then say import from pkinter import. Import TTK Import random from OS from TK enter import message box. After importing all required libraries, we will construct a class named build app. Class build app which will contain an init function with two parameters self and root then we will say if main sorry name is equal to is equal to underscore underscore main now in this condition, we will call our root window. Root is equal to tk. Then create an object build app. OBJ is equal to build app. And in that, we will pass root. And finally, we will close the main loop. Root dot main loop. To create our window, we will use the standard code. So we need to attach a bg.png photo or illustration to this window. So we will first locate the file using self.prop underscore image 1 is equal to photo image file is equal to icons plus bg.png and then attach it using the label function f dot top image underscore label one is equal to label root image is equal to self dot top underscore image comma bg is equal to white f dot top image label one dot place x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to minus 2. It's time to design our customized title bar. To create the title bar, first override or reactivate the default title bar by using self.root.override redirect to If we execute it, then there is no default title bar. So the line above here is now our title bar which contains the icon and name of the windows. But we didn't have a close button to close. So let's make one. Here I have located our close.png file and then created a button and attach the close.png file to it. Now I have command our button to quit or destroy the main loop or the running window. And then I have added some parameters to make our button look good. So now let's run it and see it. Over here we can see our close button. So let's click it. This is all about this video. We will continue our project in our next video.